Get a free share of Lucid Motors. It's like a 20, 25 bucks stock. If you click the link in the description below, the Moomoo link, deposit $100 after making an account and get a free stock. It's pretty nice and it's a pretty like heavy free stock. It's worth a lot of money. But recently we got to get into the AMC situation because the whole entire drama situation is getting bigger than ever before. SEC is also being dragged into this as well. We've been seeing a lot of big hedge funds recently going in. We also have been seeing some pretty massive bulk orders being placed through. I think some big hedge fund out there is looking to AMC and feel like it's actually a pretty good stock. Now for all of you guys who have been living under a rock, let me give you guys a quick rundown of what's going on in the past few trading days. So essentially documents were recently leaked about Citadel actually talking to Robinhood during the whole entire January short squeeze. Remember on January 28th, the buy buttons for GME, AMC, BlackBerry, and several other meme stocks like Nokia have all been disabled. And the only thing you could do with those stocks is sell. Now, let's do a quick guess. What's gonna happen when you take away the opportunity to buy and only leaving the opportunity to sell? Everyone is gonna sell. This is why the price of AMC, GME, all dropped tremendously during the January squeeze here. AMC went from a literal penny stock a dollar and ninety cents to twenty bucks before going back down to five dollars. It was really, really hard. And around that time, people also said that Citadel shorted AMC and made a lot of money from it. So obviously all the retail traders are fierce about what's going on. And because of this, these leaked documents is showing that yeah, it looks like Citadel did conspire with, you know, Robin Hood around January twenty seventh. And this is not no just random coincidence, okay? They were talking about GME and also other meme stocks and stuff like that. But recently, we have been seeing the Citadel Twitter page being extremely active, which is pretty rare. You usually don't see this often. But Citadel Security is saying that it's crystal clear that Robinhood restricted trading in response to a $3 billion margin call from the NSCC. Okay, there's other documents and stuff like that. And what a lot of retail traders are saying that Citadel is trying to cover themselves, trying to deny whatever is happening, but you can't really deny the leaked documents. Okay, they did talk to each other. Why would a market maker ever talk to a brokerage and then suddenly the buy button for one of the most popular retail stocks out there suddenly gets disabled, okay? Those shorts were losing so much money. When you short a stock and heavily over leverage at $2 a share and it goes to $20 a share, obviously you're gonna get taken out. Melbourne Capital had like a 50% loss, the whole entire hedge fund. That's how crazy it got, okay? Sales Securities also said that numerous other retail brokerage firms also imposed restrictions. And there just seems to be like a lot of, you know, I guess snitching involved around each other. I think brokerages and brokerages are kind of at each other's throats at this current moment because consequences will be coming in. This is not something that the SEC and other trading regulatory agents can just simply not look at. I mean, it's too big of a deal, especially when hashtag Citadel scandal or hashtag King Griffin line is constantly being trending on Reddit and also Twitter. These are things that even traders that don't play AMC and even people that aren't traders are starting to notice. So big things are happening, guys. Thanks for watching and comment below how you guys feel about this. And make sure to check out the private Discord server. Guys, it's free until November 1st. Cancel anytime. A lot of really, really awesome trades. See you guys later.